Hello, this video is called The Magic of Burning Man 2011. My name is Phil Osophical. So I first read about this Burning Man festival about three years ago in a book by Daniel Pinchbeck called Breaking Open the Head. And in this book, he visits all these different places around the world and takes some sort of shamanic journey. And one of the places he visits is the Burning Man Festival, which you could see as sort of a modern journey of initiation. And reading, reading his tale of this place called Burning Man, I just felt like I needed to go there. And so for the past three years, I've been really intending to go to Burning Man. And just about two weeks ago, I got back here in Happy Valley, Pennsylvania, and I checked my email and I got this update about Burning Man. And it said Burning Man is in one week. And I was like, oh my goodness, could I actually go to Burning Man in one, with one week's notice? And uh, I just felt this huge urge and, and call to, to go to Burning Man and to connect with all these amazing people from all over the world. And so I sent, out, I sent out a message to a bunch of my friends asking them to support me financially in this journey and also just with positive intentions. And then I also sent out a message on Facebook to see if I, anyone had a ticket that I could have or that I could buy. And so to stick, take a step back for a second, a theme throughout this whole video, The Magic of Burning Man, is things spiraling together. Instead of coming full, full circle, they're coming full spiral. And so one thing that came full spiral was that when I first read Breaking Open the Head, that was also when I first learned about the work of Terence McKenna, who's an amazing philosopher and researcher of entheogens or psychedelics and Terence McKenna's brother, Dennis McKenna. They've been doing this work for a while. Terence McKenna passed away, but Dennis McKenna is still doing a lot with ayahuasca and things of that sort. And so anyway, I send out this message to all my friends, and a day later, my friend David, who I just recently met, sends me a message saying, Kevin, I have two tickets they're being sold by none other than Dennis McKenna because he's in Peru and he can't make it to Burning Man. Do you want this ticket? And I was just like, oh my goodness, I am gonna go to Burning Man thanks to Dennis McKenna who I first read about in Breaking Open the Head when I first heard of Burning Man and now he's gonna be the one giving me this ticket or selling me this ticket so I bought it from him and that was just one little piece of the spiral and then and then to fast forward for a moment I go to Burning Man and I meet Daniel Pinchbeck and I make a YouTube video with him the man who wrote the book that I was first inspired by so those are two tiny little wild spirals of of magic within Burning Man but anyway to, to back rewind a bit, uh, so many of my friends decided to support me in this journey and I, I truly thank each and every one of you who supported me in this, whichever way, in whatever way you did, I truly thank you. And so that was, that was what helped me get to Burning Man. My friend Charlie gave me a bus ticket, so I took a Greyhound for three days. I sat on a bus for three whole days to get all the way to the West Coast. And then I met up with, with some friends who, uh, well, with my friend Valerie, who my cultural recyclist friends who I biked across America with. That's kind of coming full circle because 
we met them on the west coast and then I came back to the east coast and then I go back to the west coast to connect with her to go to Burning Man so she was kind enough to give me a ride to the playa which is where Burning Man happens it's on this massive desert lake previously a lake bed and it's just incredibly vast wilderness surrounded by mountains as you can see in some of the pictures that I'll post um, and so another thing that came full circle or full spiral was that part of the, the reason why I was called to go to Burning Man is to help initiate a full circle in fact a circle of hands a peaceful gathering of hands as we've been doing in Peaceburg and I felt really called to help bring to bring that to Burning Man and to help unify people and connect with people from all over the globe and so I did I, I went there and a, another thing that came full spiral was that I I met my friend, I reconnected with my friend Casey who I'd met on the bike trip. He just happened to be at Burning Man and we met up. And then we did this. Happy Friday! Please join us for a circle of hands around the man! We are celebrating our individual and collective rites of passage. Please join us! Hey, let's invite more people in. We can make this larger. Ah, hey, ah, ho. Ah, hey, ah, ho. Happy Friday, life on Earth. Happy Friday, life is beautiful. Happy Friday, burning man. Happy Friday, Scooby Doo, Yabba Dabba Dabba Doo Ba Doo. Yes, let's celebrate! Yabba Yabba Yo, Yabba Yabba Yo Yo. Hey, please join us for a circle of hands around the man. So that is the footage of the circle of hands which Casey and I helped to facilitate at Burning Man. It was really amazing. And, and going along with this theme of, of things spiraling together and uh, kind of going on this yin-yang journey. Because the yin, at the, at the pinnacle of yin, it turns into yang. And um, I feel that th that metaphor is, is applicable to our, our situation as, as a society right now, as humanity. We, we're going on this, we've been on this journey of separation where, and this journey of forgetting what, what's true to us. And this is explained very well by Charles Eisenstein, who I'll post some links to. But basically, we've gone on this journey of separation as a species where we've we've forgotten how to connect with ourselves we become disconnected from ourselves we become disconnected from each other from other humans and we become disconnected from the natural world and the spiritual worlds and so we've we've become these these separate we feel like we're separate and isolated and to some degree, it's just perceived, but to a lot, it's, it's really real. And I feel that Burning Man is a complete atmosphere of reconnection. So it's, it's healing this separation. And for every single person, these, we have different wounds of separation. We've, um, we have different things that we need to reconnect with. And for me, I was able to reconnect, reconnect 
to myself and to other people a lot through this Burning Man experience. And, um, and that's what I feel like Burning Man offers to everyone is a, is a platform, a space where we can do the healing that we need to do. And I truly believe that everything that happens at Burning Man, no matter how crazy it looks or weird, it's all a part of this healing process that we're going through. And so many people are go to Burning Man, including myself, and just really remember what it feels like to be connected to other people and to be connected to ourselves, to actually feel comfortable in our own skin. And that's what I feel like a big part of the magic is of Burning Man, is that you can be yourself. You can be, I, I could be myself. And, and that's what I felt, the freedom going there. I, for the first time in my life, pretty much, I, I walked around naked for a day and as my good friend Tony Moss says, you gotta have no shame in your game. So no matter wh what you're doing in any aspect of life, the key is to have no shame in your game. Be yourself. Don't be self-conscious. And, and that for me, going to Burning Man, I was able to completely drop this self-consciousness crap about worrying what other people think of me. And uh, it was pretty funny, the, the day that I finally decided to walk around naked, I was, I was walking down the street with my friend Casey, who, who was in the Circle of Hands video, and I see this guy biking down the sidewalk, or biking down the desert, and it turns out his name's Kurt, He's a friend that I made over YouTube, and I'm just like, hey, what's up, Kurt? And uh, he instantly recognized me, and here I am just completely naked, but we became, we became good friends, and there's some crazy airplanes going over by, overhead, but I'm here with uh, the beautiful ancient grandmother willow tree, just to pause for a moment. Um, so, anywho, I connect with my friend Kurt, who I met through YouTube, which is a crazy spiral of reconnection there. And, uh, and yeah, Burning Man is just this, this place where everyone can reconnect with themselves and, and with the spiritual world or their spiritual path. There's all these different camps at Burning Man that have constantly offering workshops and ways you can heal yourself and heal other people. I got a Reiki attunement while I was there and that was really profound and I was able to do some Reiki on myself which I've been doing which has been very healing and also I gave Reiki to a friend that I met there and he had a really beneficial experience almost just got hit by a golf ball because I'm on the golf course <laughs> anywho um, yeah Burning Man is just this magical realm where everyone is free to be themselves and to connect with other people on a deeper level and I feel that the reason for that is because everyone is in this mindset of cooperation and collaboration. Whereas in our society, we've created this crazy system of competition where we constantly need to be fighting against each other. When at Burning Man, I met all these people and I asked them like, what, what for you is the most amazing thing about Burning Man? And they said the camaraderie that you find here, just the, the openness of everyone to just help each other out and give. And like I was walking down the, down the playa and I had this cart to get a bunch of stuff and the cart was, was all rickety and breaking apart. 
and this random guy just comes up to me and he's like, what seems to be the major malfunction? Did you hear or see a ball come through here? Yes, the ball landed right over there. Oh. In the water? No, it was in the grass there. Oh. He's looking for his golf ball. Um, anywho, uh, this guy comes up and he says, what seems to be the major malfunction? And he he just checks out the checks out the cart I was using, goes and finds some nuts and bolts, and I just start talking to his wife who's sitting there, and uh, we're just having this great conversation. And he just fixes the cart right up, and he's like, "Have a beautiful day," and it was just this amazing random act of kindness that he felt compelled to do. And that's what everyone does at Burning Man. Everyone just helps each other out and it's so magical. And it's just this spiral of, of giving and receiving, giving and receiving. And that for me has just been such a profound experience to, to return back here to Happy Valley and have gained so much from, from all of these people and all of these places and now that I've, I've spiraled all the way to Burning Man and then back to Happy Valley, I'm ready to, to put these things into action. And I'm gonna be continuously making YouTube videos about all the stuff, all these ideas that are coming through me. And I encourage you to just get excited about all these amazing things that are happening. There are so many ways that we can reconnect with ourselves, reconnect with other people, reconnect with the natural world, because I believe that that is the solution to all of our problems. Anything you can do to reconnect and to heal this, this separation that we've had, that, that is really the root of all our problems, is separation, that is how we will transform this world into the beauty and joy that we know is possible and that is already manifesting at places like Burning Man. So please, I encourage you to have no shame in your game. Be yourself. Just live from your heart. Follow your passion. Ask your friends for support. I, I'm so thankful for all of my friends who supported me, but I first had to ask for the support and be open to receive. So be open to receive, live spontaneously, love yourself first, then love other people, love everything. <laughs> uh, life is so beautiful. Thank you for watching, and please check out the links below. Scoobily do don't take yourself too seriously. Peace and love. Thank you.